Okay, so right here, leave. what I want to do is extract first. And uh, let's look on the channels. We don't have any alpha channel. Um, let's go switch to different mode. Uh, so I'm going to select, I'm going to select by color range. I'll select the black one. We'll click OK. And uh, let's select inverse. So I select on inside. And I want to shrink a little bit because I probably get something black and I don't want it. So I'm going to select modify contract and we'll go by maybe two pixels yeah let's go control C copy control me and new and we'll paste so right here you can see we have it nice no black um, things going around get okay, next I want to rotate in right direction for this we'll go image image rotation and I'm going to rotate counterclockwise so to apply properly this will be bottom where we're connecting this will be top and this kind of look okay um, I maybe want to modify the color correction for this and I also want to create some bit map for that uh, bump maps a little bit for the leaves so let's go do this one with control J duplicate layer okay in this layer I'm going to image adjustment we'll go convert to black and white and here what I want to do actually I want to invert I want to make these areas the green ones which is darker before brighter and we can go this way and another areas darker so kind of almost this area is expand if you want opposite, you always can go other ways and create a little bit thicker veins and other ones smaller. So it's up to you. Um, the one thing just to notice that, okay, I'm just looking on other colors. We need kind of flatten out. So we'll create OK on this one. Image adjustment and we'll need to go to the shadow and highlights. So in this case, I want to flatten out a little bit more because we will have some problems with too high elements. So I want just to bring in and right here, just bring a little bit. Okay, adjustment. Just see what's a little bit flattened out. I don't like these black ones. So I kind of need a rework, remove them. And we can do with curves or we can do with the levels. So we kind of can actually just bring right here, maybe around. Ma'am, just bring a little bit. Okay, I think right here, a little bit flatten overall. And um, let's create one more layer. This is, will be overall masking layer. Again, I will fill with 50% gray. And you notice I'm going on top, hold down Alt button, and click. So I merge those layers together. And I will just blend, blend out. So this will be my beep map as well. If I want it, I can act, um, have it as displacement as well. But if I do displacement, I want probably create even software like this. But for the displacement, I have a better idea. So we'll do differently. So right here, this is a beep map. And we'll just go ahead. Let's save as PNG so we preserve background. Save right here and we'll save as a leaf. Okay. Now let's go save um, this one, but it's too bright. So I'm going to adjust um, color section. You know what? Let me do with the curves. Just for all adjustment here, we'll go. Bring it 
just leave it down to match our other colors probably around this area okay we'll save the web as well okay we'll go save this as a leaf okay and i'm going to actually create new layer and I want to create the beam map, kind of interesting bombs going or effect displacement for the leaf. So we'll go to um, create layer. We'll take about maybe 50% gray right here. Okay, and actually, you know what? Let's do um, 48 on this one. And we'll do maybe 52. So it's hard to see filter. Just let's go create filter render. So we'll create clouds. You kind of can see them, but slightly. It's what I'm doing because we don't want to have it too high values. Um, they in plan factor it will affect quite a bit. So, but I want to create it. And let's go 40. Or maybe and right here we'll have it 55 just render okay yeah that look better next we'll go filter blur and just move out those areas around this area okay this is will be our displacement map so I'm going same save leave displacement Okay, now let's go back to our plant and next in the leaf, we'll go to materials. And you notice we have segment. I want to leave it as it is. We don't do cut, but blades, it's what I want to modify. So we'll go open one effect. We'll go color, it's actual map it picture, sorry. I'll need to go back to map it pictures. Um, we'll go open. Yeah, right here we have it our leaf PNG. Let's open this. It says, Do you want transparency? Yes, I want preserve transparency. Okay, you can notice how it's a different color now. And uh, we'll just go to try match. Our colors. I think this is kind of nicer. We also can use it the color blend if you needed to apply a little bit more so we can color mask and we can just blend slightly in so that kind of but so you have multiple ways we can apply and create this um, as a bump map uh, we need to go inside Function editor right here. Okay. And okay, this is alpha, this is our vamp. So we go select one and we'll go add project texture. Let's go preload it. Okay, we'll create our bump map. Okay, I want to be sure interpolation set least binary. And we'll just go and connect to our bumps. Okay, actually, let me. There you go. Okay, click OK when we're done. And of course, right here you can see how it is um, quite a bit strong. So I'm going to 05. I'll go way lower just a little bit something there okay we'll click OK and now I want enable displacement on the blades and with this you actually can have a lot of fun when you do this because depend on different time displacement you can totally modify them but right here I will open displacement okay and we can kind of bring amount and you can see how leaves 
start having these dimensions now to them. So we can apply more. And how I said before, if you do, um, be sure you do a little bit more gentle apply to them. So in this case, effect won't be very spiky. And you can see this one maybe even too strong. Yeah, I think this is will look a little bit more natural plants. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of preview, see what we have it so far. And you can see our leaves is quite a bit yellow color. So let's go to um, our leaf. Okay, we'll go open here, color alpha. Let's reset it. Click OK, preview. And if you work after in a view, don't worry that much because we can go back and modify, of course, all our settings. But overall, what I want to see it general look okay and don't worry about too much we don't see displacement because we need to export but it does look um, again preview mods overall colors look kind of okay I think next what we're going to do is work on the um, just apply work on the flowers okay and of course all of this will be same and we'll work on a beans texture as well. Right now, of course, everything is follow going through. Before we begin work on this, let me kind of going very fast right here and just apply some displacement, same as we did before. We have it on a segment, segment displacement, and just similar to what we did before, actually, this one. Okay, pop up about this much. Okay, and I think tentacle top as well. I need to add some displacement on materials. But rest colors will be taken from the parent, which is kind of nice. Okay, right here. Applied. And let's look. The font will just rename this. So we kind of know which one it is using. Okay, so let's work on uh, flowers in a next tutorial.